Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Like, subscribe, and share with your fellow Denarian friends. To help support our channel we now accept tips using the blockchain-based Brave Browser and BAT tokens. It makes a huge difference and is very much appreciated. To those of you that made a contribution, I sincerely thank you very much. If you are interested in making a few extra bucks by using the latest technology, use the blockchain-based Secure Brave Browser. Also, if you have not done so yet, please pick up your free trial copy of the Currency Exchange Planner, voted the number one exchange planner in the Dinar community. Both the links to the Brave Browser as well as the Currency Exchange Planner are below this video. First article of interest for today. A law we agreed to resolve the remaining ministries and submit his booth next Thursday. Well-informed representative sources revealed today, Monday, the end of the meeting of Prime Minister-designate Mohammed Tafiq Alawi with the leaders of political blocs to resolve the file of forming a government. A representative source said in a statement seen by Awak Baria that Prime Minister-designate Mohammed Tafiq Alawi held an expanded meeting with the leaders of the political blocs in the framework of his discussions to complete his ministerial buildings and submit them to the House of Representatives for a vote. The source indicated that the ministerial cabinet is likely to be presented at the end of this week or early next week. The appointed Prime Minister, Mohammed Tafiq Alawi, had announced his cabinet cabinet to be presented to the House of Representatives this week. Next article of interest. Maza R. Implementation of the Chinese agreement is subject to approval of the budget. Advisor to the Prime Minister for Financial Affairs, Dr. Maza R. Mohammed Sali, confirmed that the agreement with China has been in effect since last October, and that direct implementation is related to approving the budget for 2020 and allocating funds for the projects to be established. Saleh added in a statement to Al Sabah that the Iraqi-Chinese agreement is very flexible and bears that partnership contracts, investment or contracting to implement basic projects for infrastructure in the country, in addition to that it will last for 20 years as this would reflect on the economic reality positively. He believed that earning the time factor is an important element for achieving development in Iraq, stressing that the general budget still accounts for 110% of all revenues that go as an operating budget with the absence of the investment budget, which makes us wonder, so where is development? Next article of interest. Parliamentary finance shows the mechanism of bridging the fiscal deficit in the 2020 budget. The Parliamentary Finance Committee indicated, on Monday, a mechanism to address the expected financial deficit in the draft federal budget law for 2020. Committee member Hainan Cato said in a statement to information that calls to raise the price of selling a barrel of oil in the budget of 2020 to avoid a high rate of deficit are a risk and will not be realized, pointing out that the House of Representatives will try to find ways to bridge the deficit, such as transferring the investment parts funds to operational or reduce some expenses. He added that the government will resort to internal borrowing from government and private banks to fill the expected deficit in the 2020 budget, indicating that the expected deficit is estimated at 48 trillion planning dinars only and may increase or decrease after studying the budget law within the House of Representatives. The economist, Wissam Al Tamimi, confirmed today, Monday, that eliminating the budget deficit is subject to raising the price of a barrel of oil to $58, indicating that this amount, with the rotation of the governorate's budgets, will contribute to eliminating the financial deficit significantly. Next article of interest. Al Adder warns of the danger of delay in approving the 2020 budget and diagnoses its damages. A member of the Iraqi Economic Council, Ghadir Al Adder, warned on Monday of the danger of delaying the approval of the country's fiscal 2020 budget on the national economy. al Adder said in a statement received, Moazin News, a copy of it, that, according to information from the Parliamentary Finance Committee, the resigned government headed by Adel Abdul Mahdi has completed the preparation of the federal financial budget for 2020 two days before its resignation, 
adding that, the subject of the government's resignation and general conditions in the country I delay sending it to the Iraqi parliament. Al Atter and the person damages from the delay in approving the financial budget, as the burden on citizens and services increases, and the possibility of delayed payment of salaries to state employees in addition to obstructing projects as well as causing economic stagnation in Iraq. And a member of the Economic Council stated, the country depends entirely on the budget because the oil resources 93% of it go to feed the budget, which means that Iraq's money goes to it and it has not been legislated yet. Next article of interest. Report. Ripple is XRP perfectly suited for central bank-supported digital currency. A report of the World Economic Forum on Central Bank Digital Currencies, CBDC, describes that Ripple is XRP token is perfectly suited for this purpose. According to Brad Garlinghouse, other prominent coins such as the JPM coin do not solve the problem of cross-border transfers. A study by the Bank for International Settlements, BIS, has shown that a central bank-supported digital currency, CBDC, is supported by governments, especially in emerging markets with poorly developed economies. In addition, more than 80% of the 66 central banks surveyed are already working on the development of a CBDC in some form. Furthermore, 40% of the banks surveyed have moved from a conceptual stage to an experimental stage in their projects. This figure represents a significant increase compared to 2018. Ripple as XRP is a potential candidate. In regions with a poorly developed infrastructure for banking services, fast and at the same time cheap remittances can ensure the survival of many people who often do not have sufficient access to a bank account. A new report by the World Economic Forum on Central Bank Digital Currencies, CBDC, describes that prominent digital currencies could be JPM coin or Ripple as XRP. The JPM coin is a stable coin that is linked to the value of the USD and is therefore not subject to major fluctuations. In addition, the JPM coin is issued on a private blockchain controlled by JPM Morgan Bank, which is operated under the bank's internal blockchain task force quorum, and can only be used by selected companies and banks. The XRP token is subject to the price fluctuations of the digital asset and acts as a bridge currency to transport a digital value from one end of the world to the other, almost in real time and at low cost. Whether the base currency is the USD or the Mexican peso, XRP transfers the value transparently and quickly. Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, recently stated in an interview that he has great doubts that the JPM coin will prevail with other banks. JPM coin will run on a blockchain network called Quorum, which requires permissions and users must be approved by JP Morgan. All the other banks will use it for sure. They will certainly ask their clients to open an account at JPM too. Seriously. He further describes that the JPM coin can only be used for USD to USD transactions, saving transaction fees and transfer time, but offering no other advantages compared to a classic bank transfer. If you're just moving within the JPM ledger, and it has to be dollar to dollar, one to one backing, I don't understand what problem that solves. Margin Delatin, head of global banking at Ripple, also describes that regional banks are hungry for a change that will benefit not only the large banking institutions, but also medium-sized banks. In an interview published at the end of last year, she says, But what is apparent with the regional banks and also the payment service providers, is that they are hungry for change and for having a competitive edge. That's really the driver, being able to source on-demand liquidity and providing a real-time experience in terms of cross-border payments. Ripple as payment solutions are aimed at precisely these market participants, so it is actually no surprise that the transaction volume via the payment solutions offered by Ripple is reaching a new all-time high on several payment corridors. On-demand liquidity, ODL, which relies on Ripple as XRP token, also posted a volume increase of more than 390% in the fourth quarter of last year. 
J.P. Morgan considers merger with Ethereum developer studio Consensys. As Crypto News Flash has already reported, there are negotiation talks between the Ethereum development studio Consensys and the banking giant J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan currently employs a development team of almost 25 people for the blockchain project Quorum. Quorum forms the basis of J.P. Morgan's Interbank Information Network, IIN which has been expanded to a network of 320 banks that exchange global payment data via the blockchain. The joint development of new blockchain-based products could therefore have far-reaching effects on the banking landscape in the United States. Through the cooperation with Consensys, which has not yet been finally confirmed, JP Morgan could bring further blockchain expertise on board. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest are posted. Be sure to visit my Denarian blog. Also check out my Facebook or Twitter for all of today's articles of interest as I post them on those platforms as well. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded currency exchange planner before you leave. Use the promo code, the Denarian, and get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program. If you do not keep your savings in a real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails and they boot up the new quantum financial system on the blockchain. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. The program is made so everyone can afford to save in gold by offering it one gram at a time. Start saving in a real true asset like gold, it's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. Why do you think all the central banks are loading up on gold lately, and running from the current depreciating fiat US dollar? Do you think they do not know what is coming? Get yourself protected. Both of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video, go check them out. Knowledge is power, using that newfound knowledge is powerful. Over and out, for now, the Denarian.